In computer science, type conversion, type casting, type coercion, and type juggling are different ways of changing an expression from one data type to another. An example would be the conversion of an integer value into a floating point value or its textual representation as a string, and vice versa. Type conversions can take advantage of certain features of type hierarchies or data representations. Two important aspects of a type conversion are whether it happens implicitly automatically or explicitly, and whether the underlying data representation is converted from one representation into another, or a given representation is merely reinterpreted as the representation of another data type. In general, both primitive and compound data types can be converted. Each programming language has its own rules on how types can be converted. Languages with strong typing typically do little implicit conversion and discourage the reinterpretation of representations, while languages with weak typing perform many implicit conversions between data types. Weak typing language often allow forcing the compiler to arbitrarily interpret a data item as having different representations. This can be a non-obvious programming error, or a technical method to directly deal with underlying hardware. In most languages, the word coercion is used to denote an implicit conversion, either during compilation or during run time. For example, in an expression mixing integer and floating point numbers like 5 plus 0.1, the compiler will automatically convert integer representation into floating point representation so fractions are not lost. Explicit type conversions are either indicated by writing additional code e.g. adding type identifiers or calling built-in routines or by coding conversion routines for the compiler to use when it otherwise would halt with a type mismatch. In most ALGOL-like languages, such as Pascal, MODULA2, ADA and Delphi, conversion and casting are distinctly different concepts. In these languages, conversion refers to either implicitly or explicitly changing a value from one data type storage format to another, e.g. a 16-bit integer to a 32-bit integer. The storage needs may change as a result of the conversion, including a possible loss of precision or truncation. The word cast, on the other hand, refers to explicitly changing the interpretation of the bit pattern representing a value from one type to another. For example, 32 contiguous bits may be treated as an array of 32 booleans, a 4-byte string, an unsigned 32-bit integer or an IEEE single precision floating point value. Because the stored bits are never changed, the programmer must know low-level details such as representation format, byte order, and alignment needs, to meaningfully cast. In the C family of languages and ALGOL 68, the word cast typically refers to an explicit type conversion as opposed to an implicit conversion, causing some ambiguity about whether this is a reinterpretation of a bit pattern or a real data representation conversion. More important is the multitude of ways and rules that apply to what data type or class is located by a pointer and how a pointer may be adjusted by the compiler in cases like object class inheritance. Topic. Language comparison Topic. C-like languages Topic. Implicit type conversion Implicit type conversion, also known as coercion, is an automatic type conversion by the compiler. Some programming languages allow compilers to provide coercion, others require it. In a mixed type expression, data of one or more subtypes can be converted to a supertype as needed at runtime so that the program will run correctly. For example, the following is legal C language code. Although D, L, and I belong to different data types, they will be automatically converted to equal data types each time a comparison or assignment is executed. This behavior should be used with caution, as unintended consequences can arise. Data can be lost when converting representations from floating point to integer, as the fractional components of the floating point values will be truncated rounded towards zero. Conversely, precision can be lost when converting representations from integer to floating point, since a floating point type may be unable to exactly represent an integer type. 
For example, float might be an IEEE 754 single precision type, which cannot represent the integer 16,777,217 exactly, while a 32-bit integer type can. This can lead to unintuitive behavior, as demonstrated by the following code. On compilers that implement floats as IEEE single precision, and INTS as at least 32 bits, this code will give this peculiar printout. Note that one represents equality in the last line above. This odd behavior is caused by an implicit conversion of I underscore value to float when it is compared with F underscore value. The conversion causes loss of precision, which makes the values equal before the comparison. Important takeaways Float to int causes truncation, i.e., removal of the fractional part Double to float causes rounding of digit Long to int causes dropping of excess higher order bits Topic. Type promotion one special case of implicit type conversion is type promotion, where the compiler automatically expands the binary representation of objects of integer or floating point types. Promotions are commonly used with types smaller than the native type of the target platform's arithmetic logic unit ALU, before arithmetic and logical operations, to make such operations possible, or more efficient if the ALU can work with more than one type. C and C++ perform such promotion for objects of Boolean, character, wide character, enumeration, and short integer types which are promoted to int, and for objects of type float, which are promoted to double. Unlike some other type conversions, promotions never lose precision or modify the value stored in the object. In Java Topic. Explicit type conversion. Explicit type conversion is a type conversion which is explicitly defined within a program instead of being done by a compiler for implicit type conversion. It is defined by the user in the program. There are several kinds of explicit conversion Checked Before the conversion is performed, a runtime check is done to see if the destination type can hold the source value. If not, an error condition is raised. Unchecked no check is performed. If the destination type cannot hold the source value, the result is undefined. Bit pattern The raw bit representation of the source is copied verbatim, and it is reinterpreted according to the destination type. This can also be achieved via aliasing. In object oriented programming languages, objects can also be downcast. A reference of a base class is cast to one of its derived classes. C Sharp and C++ In C Sharp, type conversion can be made in a safe or unsafe i.e., C-like manner, the former called check typecast. In C++ the similar effect can be achieved using C++ style cast syntax. Eiffel In Eiffel the notion of type conversion is integrated into the rules of the type system. The assignment rule says that an assignment, such as is valid if and only if the type of its source expression, y in this case, is compatible with the type of its target entity, x in this case. In this rule, compatible with means that the type of the source expression either conforms to or converts to that of the target. Conformance of types is defined by the familiar rules for polymorphism in object-oriented programming. For example, in the assignment above, the type of Y conforms to the type of X if the class upon which Y is based is a descendant of that upon which X is based. <laughs> Definition of type conversion in Eiffel The actions of type conversion in Eiffel, specifically converts to and converts from a defined as a type based on a class CU converts to a type T based on a class CT and T converts from U if either CT has a conversion procedure using U as a conversion type, or 
CU has a conversion query listing T as a conversion type. Topic example. Eiffel is a fully compliant language for Microsoft.NET framework. Before development of .NET, Eiffel already had extensive class libraries. Using the .NET type libraries, particularly with commonly used types such as strings, poses a conversion problem. Existing Eiffel software uses the string classes such as string underscore eight from the Eiffel libraries, but Eiffel software written for .NET must use the .NET string class system string in many cases. For example, when calling .NET methods which expect items of the .NET type to be passed as arguments, so the conversion of these types back and forth needs to be as seamless as possible. In the code above, two strings are declared, one of each different type system underscore string is the Eiffel compliant alias for system string. Because system string does not conform to string underscore eight, then the assignment above is valid only if system string converts to string underscore eight. The Eiffel class string underscore eight has a conversion procedure make underscore from underscore kill for objects of type system string. Conversion procedures are also always designated as creation procedures similar to constructors. The following is an excerpt from the string underscore 8 class. The presence of the conversion procedure makes the assignment semantically equivalent to in which my underscore string is constructed as a new object of type string underscore 8 with content equivalent to that of my underscore system underscore string. To handle an assignment with original source and target reversed, the class string underscore eight also contains a conversion query to underscore kill, which will produce a system string from an instance of string underscore eight. The assignment then becomes equivalent to. In Eiffel, the setup for type conversion is included in the class code, but then appears to happen as automatically as explicit type conversion in client code. The includes not just assignments but other types of attachments as well, such as argument parameter substitution. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Security issues. In hacking, typecasting is the misuse of type conversion to temporarily change a variable's data type from how it was originally defined. This provides opportunities for hackers since in type conversion after a variable is typecast to become a different data type, the compiler will treat that hacked variable as the new data type for that specific operation. See also Downcasting Runtime type information hashtag dynamic cast and java cast type punning